Hey everyone, today I have for you a Hobbit Influence Rounded Stable House. On Instagram I noticed many uh, people were building Hobbit holes. And I built one and I kind of had an idea and I wanted to run with it and it was this cylindrical shape style house. So we're diving into something a little more detailed, but it'll be a little more enjoyable, I think, than the last few builds. So without further ado, let us begin. So to start off with this build, we're going to use an oak log straight up for the front, and then go over a total of five, and then we're going to go down a total of five, and then we're going to over one, then down five, and then down another five, and then across nine. And now we're just going to mirror that onto the other side. Now we're going to begin with the horse stable, and it's going to be a five, or two sets of five by five squares. Next, we're going to need some tuff, and I'm going to line out the innermost parts of the structure following around all the oak logs except for the stables. And then here, we're placing a spot for the chimney, and then a floor of your choice. I'm going to use oak planks for this. So to begin framing, on the big square, we're going to go up a total of four tall on all six of the ups upright logs. Then on the front of the house, we're going to go up a total of three tall on the four upright logs. And then on the stables, we'll go up another total of three on those upright logs. So for framing the front of the house, we're going to go in one and up one, and then in one and then over three, and just kind of giving that cylindrical shape. And then when we get to the bigger rooftop, we're going to go up one and in one, then up one again, going in two, up one one more time, going over three, and then we're just going to mirror that onto the other side and we'll do it for the other two posts or the other two tall posts behind it. And then one more zoom in here for the rooftop for the stable side. We're going to go over one and then up three just like the rooftop on the very beginning of the house just because the way the staircases will line up. You'll see that in a moment. And one last thing for the framing. We're going to drag all the oak logs across connecting up the rooftop pieces with the stripped oak this also makes framing a lot easier but also it adds decor to the inside so you're not looking at the rooftop from underneath so for this part of the build we're going to add the chimney in where the tuff extends from the building and just break it up a bit with uh, red terracotta staircases and of course the campfire with spruce trapdoors at the top and then for the roof I'm just using stone slabs and stone staircases for right now. Afterwards, we're going to detail it, but I'm going to do the regular portion first and then the overhang afterwards. The overhang is just uh, adding the same material along the edges like that. And then, of course, in the centers, we have that one extra slab where we can put a lantern. Then for the details, I'm using a bit of mossy cobble and andesite staircases and slabs, just intermittently placing them everywhere to break up the texture. So the next part of the build, we're just going to go ahead and where all the tuff is, in one behind all the oak logs, we're placing the calcite all around the structure. So we're just essentially walling up the entirety of the building now. We are losing a little bit of space, but that was the point of building the structure a little bit bigger than the last one. Now mind you, we're walling up everywhere but the stables. Okay, so now that the easiest stuff is done, I'm going to zoom in for the details for this build. Shouldn't be too, too much. So for the front of the building, we're going to cut out a 3x3 three three and then a single at the top here. We're going to place it on flanking sides here with oak logs and then an oak staircase here at the top. And I did forget the door. Let's go grab that. We're going to place the door right here in the center, just like that. So now that the front is done, let's go ahead and just put some staircases over the head just to give it a little bit more of a support feel, as well as two here. And we can decorate it a bit more. I'm just going to add some fence posts, fence posts just like that. And then to brace the rooftop, we're just going to use oak fence gates, just like that as well. And we can get one last little bit of detail in here. And of course, a lantern. So, a lot of the details are going to be pretty similar. Like, I'm going to take some of these 
uh, oak uh, staircases just kind of wrap around the front and put some there we're a little cramped in here but you can use either the fence posts or you can put the fence gate at the top and then again on the other side we have enough space here for a single window which is exactly what we're going to do place that there and then in the center we're going to do that same sort of theme we got going on with the uh, coarse dirt the trap door and then if I had more hot bar space we put the uh, little rows there and then put some fences here and oak stair like that now there are other little details that you could add like vines and stuff just to give a little more of a natural look coming down from the moss uh, the only weakness of this build would be right here I'm just gonna put fence posts there and then fill in this and that with the oak logs just to kind of go along with the structure and then put that fence there and then of course we're gonna go back up again just using the fence gates so on the bottom of the structure we're just gonna go ahead and use feet all around the posts except for where the horses will be contained we don't want them getting out so any little extras here we don't want and then I'm gonna do that over here in the back side like this and we're gonna keep going around the building and place feet all around the logs so once you get to this side of the building there's enough room here for two more windows and that's exactly what we're gonna do in both the centers right here we we'll place our course there underneath the windows oak stairs and then trap door and of course a red tulip just keep that same sort of look going around the whole building now our room is a little limited here and you can kind of brace it with different looks and textures if you wish I'm gonna go ahead and just do the same sort of style all the way around the building with the fence posts the now the oak gates here on the top bracing the roof overhang and then of course we need our window panes in here and spruce doors so for the back face of the building I'm just gonna keep it simple I'm gonna do the same sort of look here that's the too high window with the coarse dirt in the front the red tulip here in the back again just following the same style keeping it all the same uniform and whatnot and then for the top again we're gonna use our staircases upside down like this bracing that roof and then just to fill in a little bit of extra space here we'll put our fence posts like that you could even do fence posts like this if you wish so all we have left now is to detail the horse gate or the horse stable area and then to add in the little gate post here and then some last bit of interior work so I guess we could start right here just kind of fill in this wall a bit give it a little more to look at so by that I'm just gonna do a fence post here going up to the top with the oak fence here is elk fence gate there at the top to brace the roof then to contain the horses I'm just gonna do something simple out of the fences like this then we can support the structure like this with the upside down staircases keep going up along with the fences here then for the back side of the structure we're going to do the same thing kind of mirroring it now with the oak fences and then the oak stairs here on the top and then one last time just here on the side and we're going to go ahead and go around the majority of the structure we're actually going to get rid of this staircase there and we're going to place these trap doors on the weak points where the building kind of doesn't overhang just gives it a little more detail in those spots so now to kind of add that natural looking stone fence I'm gonna use our stone bricks right here and we're gonna come out a total of three from the furthest post we're gonna go in one and down two then in one and go just a single spot then we're gonna go over two and then we're gonna skip three spots and then we're gonna have a single or a two right here and then another two right there then on top of these innermost bricks we're gonna go up a total of three times then have a pair of stone bricks facing inward and then a stripped oak log going across the top then I have our trap doors here this will be just the entrance to the stable and a pair of buttons on both sides in the center with our half slabs on the top and last but not least the oak staircases underneath now of course if we left this alone as is the horses will definitely be getting out so to fix that we're going to place a pair of uh, staircases all along here just kind of give it a little more details 
And I'm going to do this on both sides, kind of placing them intermittently. And then just on the front, while we're right here, I'm going to add some fence posts to decorate the front, just a tab. Then, now we got to start working on preventing them from getting out. So where the staircases are meeting the uh, stone bricks, I placed half slabs on the top. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now, we're going to need some oak fences in some of the areas where the horses can jump. So they will, it will prevent them from getting out this way as easily. So I'm going to place uh, them in that corner. And then I'm going to place them over here in these corners as well. And of course, depending on what you choose for a field here, I'm just going to place these for now. And I'm going to put the fence gates three in a row right there. So we have one last thing to do before we can wrap it up. And that is kind of fortifying the interior ceiling just to clean it up and actually make this a working fireplace would be helpful as well so let's do that too so I'm gonna grab some bricks and whatnot and campfire place that right there in the center that's done that was very difficult now for the inside just to brace it we're gonna do what we always do at least in the most recent videos we're gonna place our staircases kind of following the patterns of the rooftop and then in between those patterns, we're going to place our lanterns over here, or in between them. And now we have some of these weak points here where the other roof kind of meets. We can either drag the logs out and make them meet like that, or we can just have the staircases come flush to the ceiling, which I think that looks better than having the logs jutting out. And here in the front, we'll do the same thing with the oak uh, staircases upside down. But this one, lantern's a little trickier because there's no middle spot, so I'll just put it right in between those. Now we can get rid of these on the floor. Now for lighting, you're probably going to want to light this up a bit more. I suppose if you wanted to add a little more ambiance, you can have intermittent lanterns hanging down lower than others, which should probably help with some lighting. So I'll have one there dangling a little bit further, and then have these two dangling just by single. And now all we have left to do is to finish up bracing the stable house. So to do that, we're going to need to drag an oak log across from here. And we can put some oak uh, upside down oak staircases like that, and then have one here in the center. And then also in the centers as well, we're going to place our upside down staircases like this. And anywhere else that we missed bracing the roof with. And in between those, we'll put our lanterns just to give it some light. And last but not least, we will place the little water trough. And there we have it, a house for the stable boy or girl. Now, let me know what you guys think of these projects, as I do have many more lined up. In fact, I'm about to show you a sneak peek of a build that we could do, depending on how this one goes. So, that is the mill house. I have a few little tweaks and whatnot to do for this build, but it is certainly in the making. More or less, the part that's in the making is how do we get upstairs without it being kind of a nightmare, as these builds were a little hard to work with. But, as always, until next time, see you later.